Tasmania on behalf of uh, all partners First National and our vendors here today. Uh, my name is uh, Tim, Tim Retallick, and uh, Chen today will be assisting me. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll be selling under the terms and conditions of the contracts which have been on display. Um, I'll highlight uh, any main points before we commence the auction. Also, before I start the auction, there will be a time if anyone has any questions. We'll have some time for that. Just a few reminders, ladies and gentlemen. The three-day cooling off period does not apply on an auction. The, uh, there is a nominee clause available in the contract if you wish to avail yourself of that facility. I guess the main thing is, ladies and gentlemen, now common knowledge, but of course once that last successful bid is made, that's it. We can't, we can't do any more after that. So I just encourage you to be vocal, uh, to be seen and, and, and heard. Now I know as a, as a youngster you were probably told, <laughs> for those that are old enough, to, to be seen and not heard, but this is not the time. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to read the following, which I'm required to do by law. Today we're conducting what is known as a Schedule 1 auction, and the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of the auction. The vendors have a reserved price. As auctioneer, I will indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids and prohibits major disruptions by bidders and prohibits bidders from attempting to prevent others from bidding and provides fines for this conduct. I'm sure we won't have anything like that in a nice area like this. And uh, you know, I was just talking to someone a moment ago and uh, there are so many original owners here still in the court, so uh, that's, uh, that's a great thing. It just shows you that this little uh, part of the woods is a very tightly held area. Anyway, continuing on, the rules permit vendor bids. The words I will use during the auction to indicate that I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor, I will use the words vendor bid. By law, only I as auctioneer can make a vendor bid. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll just go through the contract. Just before uh, I do that, of course, we're making a bit of history today. This, uh, this is the first time this home has been offered. How's that? And you know, when you get to a place like this and you walk around and you just see how everything's kept upgraded and looked after well, that's often the sign of uh, someone who's been in possession for a long time. So, what we intend to do is to make some history today. All right, the contract, ladies and gentlemen, the uh, vendor's name is uh, Hall Partners First National. The uh, particulars are here for the vendor's legal practitioner. The uh, title reference of this property is Lot 151, Lodge Plan 95493, and of course is known as 4 Sassafras Court Baronia and uh, the land includes all improvements and fixtures and we will be listing those as we go along. The price, well ladies and gentlemen, there is a reserve price on the property so uh, the highest bid that's in accordance with that price will be the winner. The deposit required is 10%, 10% of that price on signing and uh, the balance in 60 days. Probably could do a little earlier if you want to because the property is vacant. 60 days uh, is about the first week in December. So if you're doing a 60 day, that's... And to be quite honest, you really wouldn't want to be settling much later than that with the Christmas rush coming on. All right. Now there is the auction conditions, of course, which are in the front here. We won't go through those. Uh, it's all pretty obvious. Section 32, just uh, very briefly, ladies and gentlemen, tells us that all the services are available. The, the land works out at about 750 square metres all up. Um, you've got, I'll, I'll talk metres. I always look and see the age group, you see. If it's, if it's an older suburb, I'll do it in feet. Actually, I should do it in feet from the title. Okay, 48 foot 2 inches on the arc. One side is 143, the long side, 143, 11 inches, if anyone knows what inches is these days. And the other side is a bit, side is a bit shorter at 79. Uh, the rear has got a bit of a kink in it, but that comes out to 126 feet 8 inches. That's what the title says. All right, let's do it. Let's do it uh, the right way. 14.63 approximately, 43.89 on the side, and 2408 on the other side, and about 3870 along the back. Uh, there is a 2.4 metre rear easement. Obviously, that's where the sewage line goes, uh, which is standard procedure. Just for your interest, ladies and gentlemen, the rates from the City of Knox, uh, 1,413 per annum, 
1413. That's a good figure, isn't it? Rounded off to the nearest dollar. Southeastern water, you're looking at about 680 plus consumption. Uh, those rates, of course, will be adjusted at settlement. Um, there is a consent for the erection of the steel garage in 1983 uh, over the uh, part of the easement there. It's been there since 1983, so all fine on that. That just goes to show you actually how every little detail on this property has been attended to. Zoning, it's a neighbourhood residential uh, zone. Uh, the uh, so some planning overlays there, uh, which mainly, uh, well, they relate to environment and, uh, and development, but uh, uh, it's not really the sort of place you'd be subdividing. Okay, and I don't think anyone here would want to see that. Okay, all right, there's a certificate there from Vic Roads which is telling us that there are no proposals that are going to affect the property. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the section 32 in the contract. Have we got any questions there? Okay, well, that's good, that's good. Well, I guess we buy properties for all sorts of different reasons. Uh, my trip up here, the first thing that I notice is that caught my attention was just coming into Sassafras Court because uh, you know straight away you've only got to look around at all the nice gardens, all the nice homes, the natural trees, the foothills in the background and you know that you're going to be in for a treat. So the location is great because um, uh, as soon as you come into the court you just suddenly realise, hang on, I was just in Baronia Shopping Centre a moment ago or I was just at the station or I was just at a number of places so it's almost as if it's it's a part of the city but a part of the city no, that's how it, you know what I mean anyway don't you <laughs> a part of the city but apart from the city that's right so and it is just so quiet here it really is um, until we came along of course the home itself ladies and gentlemen I won't go into great detail there but of course it is a great looking home from the outside. Street Appeal always plays a big part in real estate. Um, overlooking the court, a nice quiet court. Um, it's a definite walk in and live job. Uh, we don't see a lot of homes like that these days. You know the specifications, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, vast amount of living space. And what I like about it too, it's not all big and open. It's segregated in such a way as I can just imagine a, a big family Christmas dinner or something here where the seniors go in one part and then the the youngies go in another part. It caters for that beautifully. The um, you've had that uh, that superb uh, updated kitchen there, fully equipped, big 900 cooker. Uh, you've got a meals area. You've got the adjoining family room with those lovely views out to the uh, back garden, and uh, you've also got a separate dining room or TV room, as it would probably be these days. A lot of people don't seem to have dining settings anymore. Plus, you've got another separate family lounge there. So there's just a great abundance of living space, plus you've got that magnificent outdoor facility there which you would have all noticed. So what a great place to entertain your uh, friends and family. A few extras I need to mention, of course you've got your, uh, your Dakin system there for your heating and cooling and working hand in hand with that of course is your uh, solar system. Uh, for those that are technically minded, it's a micro inverter system. So that means uh, that means if one part doesn't work, the rest keep working. Also, by the way, there's a little control in one of the rooms there where you can actually monitor your usage. So, uh, there you go. Solar system and the Dakin system, they just work hand in hand together. Large double garage with remote entry. Look, I could go on. I'm just going to bore you if I do. Uh, let's stop it here. This is your opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. It's obviously a great place to live. And uh, I think we're ready to hear a starting bid for number four, Sazafras Court, Baronia. There are no questions. Okay, there are no questions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who'd like to make me an opening bid? This is a time of great excitement where everyone starts yelling at once. <laughs> Anyone, start me off anywhere you like. Give you a moment and then I'll start it myself. It does take more than a smile. All right. Well, I think we need a bit of guidance here. Um, what about we start off at, and I'll just in, invent a figure. 
uh, I want to be reasonable. I don't want to start way down the bottom of the pit and, and uh, lure you under false pretenses. But let's say we start at uh, 750,000. That's a very easy start for a magnificent property like this. 750,000, looking for a rise of 20 straight away. 750, it's with me now. I've done my job, I've started it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's up to you. 750, looking for 790 now. 790. I don't think the dog is a registered bidder, am I right there? <laughs> right. Looking for $790,000. Started 750, 770 rather, 750 rather, looking for 770, looking for 770 now. Anyone out there would like to make a bit? Now, uh, this system actually depends on audience participation. <laughs> you, uh, you do need to make a bit. I mean, uh, I know we have some neighbours here and that's really good. We'd like to see you. And, uh, but we need someone who wants to say something or put up their hand. Can I have a bit of 770 anywhere? I'm in your hands, ladies and gentlemen. It's over to you. Looking for 770 now. Looking for 770. My, my. You know, it's a quiet court, but it's also a quiet area. <laughs> it's so quiet. 770 with me. Well, look, ladies and gentlemen, I, I can keep on making bids all day and uh, vendor or bids. And I'm going to make another one if nobody else wants to put their hat in the ring. So 770, that's what I'm looking for. All right, bidders with me is 770. 770, up to you now. Choose a figure, come with me. No, what? no, that's not a bid, that's just classes. No, it's all right, I was just listening to a bird actually. It was tweeting. <laughs> but you can't say birds tweet these days, can you? <laughs> Meet something else, yeah. Meet something else, <laughs> like a lot of things, yeah. Well, 770. I feel a bit lonely here. Come on, let us see someone here. Oh, what I could do, I could say hands up those of those who are neighbours. <laughs> 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 right, we we'll do have some others here. 770. Look, um, I'm just going to take it up to 800. If there are no bids, ladies and gentlemen, there's uh, probably not a lot of point going on, but it's with me at 800 now. Uh, we've got to move it up to get in. So it's 800 with me. Now I've done all the work so far. I'm walking around, voicing away. 800 with me now. Call your own boot, call your own amount. Oh, that's Mr. Hall, he's just going to do personal interviews now. <laughs> Come on, it's 800 with me. Look, I do understand that, uh, you know, with an auction, of course, there's no filling off period. You can't put in a finance clause. We do understand that. And uh, you may not be in a position to raise your hand today. Uh, but there will be opportunity after you, just in case we don't progress here, uh, as to what we're doing now. 800, looking for another bid over 800. Pointless me doing anything less. 800 with me. Wow, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, just give me a moment while I seek further instruction.
right, well, thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. Look, my instructions are, look, we'll just give it another flight. Now, I'll be, it's quite simple what we do here. Um, anyone who makes a bid of any description at this stage, of course, uh, will have first right of negotiation. I think everyone understands that. So the deal is that uh, if you are interested, now's the time to put your hand up, even if you don't want to go any further. Put your hand up and put yourself in that position where you have first right to negotiate. Um, failing that, we'll just be passing the property in and we'll sell by private treaty, which might sell some people, suit some people anyway. All right, so there we are. Well, we're at $800,000, ladies. I'm not going to, ladies and gentlemen, I should not just say ladies, I'll be in trouble. <laughs> 800000 It's with me. Anybody want to put their foot in the ring? 800 is there a bid anywhere? Doesn't look like it to me. All right, well, what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to pass the property in, and uh, we will be here for the next little while. So if anyone has an interest in the property, I, um, I just can't really imagine such a magnificent place and such a magnificent position uh, that we don't have a buyer here today. But look, one thing that I do know, that very soon after today, I'm sure there will be someone in because it is a it is a gem of a property. Uh, it, one owner in all that time, and it's just been beautifully looked after. Uh, I, I don't think you could ask for a nicer environment than this. Natural birds, eh? <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming. Anyway, it's been lovely talking to you. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to me. But thank you for <laughs> thank you for coming, and we will be around here for about another 20 minutes or so anyone would like to uh, put their head in the ring. Thank you.